When peppercorn ground rent is stated in the terms of a lease, it technically means that the leaseholder has to give the freeholder one peppercorn each year. And yes, that's the type that you'd usually grind onto your eggs in the morning. In practice, however, a peppercorn is most commonly not demanded from the freeholder, meaning zero ground rent is paid. This may sound like quite a strange notion, but there's actually a really interesting reason why peppercorn ground rent came into existence. Historically, ground rent was typically very low, so some freeholders wouldn't even bother collecting it. You might ask yourself why they didn't just set the ground rent to zero in the lease, but for a contract to be legally binding, each party must exchange something of value to the other party. This is what's known as consideration. In the past, peppercorns were a valuable commodity, like other spices, so it was deemed as absolute consideration to validate the lease contract. However, there are some leases in existence with even more unusual ground rents. These include one crab, a single rose, one apple and a posy of flowers per annum. Collection of any such item for an extended period of time also helps to prevent any claim by the leaseholder for possession of the land and maintains a formal relationship between the two parties. Providing leaseholders have owned their property for a minimum of two years, they are legally entitled to extend their lease. And if they do so under the statutory route provided by the Leasehold Reform, Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, their ground rent will be reduced to peppercorn. However, a lease extension can also be obtained informally by direct negotiation with the freeholder. This can often be much more time and cost effective than the statutory route. But bear in mind that freeholders who agree to informal lease extensions are helping leaseholders to save thousands of pounds compared with statutory lease extensions, and so may wish the new lease terms to include a small annual ground rent. It is not uncommon for freeholders to be open to offering a discount on the premium if leaseholders agree to an annual ground rent. For more expert guidance, please subscribe to this channel. And if you require assistance with any of the topics discussed, please visit our website to explore our range of services.